Yo, what is up, everybody? And we are back with a bit of a mid-season review of sorts, as well as a Champions League game against CSKA Moscow. Now, in the last one that you haven't seen, we drew nil all against Sutherland. Really a bore draw. They parked the bus. We didn't get through it. But to start off the episode, we're actually going into the next round of the FA Cup draw. So, guys, um, first of all, I hope you're really enjoying the save. Um, I definitely am. But with uni coming back, I uh, don't expect it daily. It's just very, very big commitment being at uni, but also da uploading daily videos, along with Rocket League consistently. So, don't expect it daily. I miss, miss, might miss a day or two here and there. But I'm going to try my best to make it daily. Which is obviously what I want to do. Because I love it. I just love enjoying. I love making videos. It brings me great joy. It's just so much fun to create and videos. And I hope you guys are enjoying it too. So thank you if you are watching. Um, Every like is appreciated. Leeds going up against Leicester. They're in blue because they're affiliated with us through a loan agreement. But who are we going to get here? Still haven't come up in the draw. And there are a few big sides left. Uh, Everton. Manchester City. There. United is still there. Liverpool, I believe I just saw. There definitely are big teams left. But still, we haven't seen us. So this is the FA Cup third round. And my gosh. There's a lot of teams to be drawn, though. Second of all, um... There we are, Peterborough. A decent side, Peterborough. Uh, I have faith in us. They went up last year, so they're now in the championship where they're struggling a bit, aren't they? Now, Leeds vying for automatic promotion, which is very good for them. Very, very good for them. There we have it. We're up against Peterborough. So, second of all, guys, um, if you are watching the video right now, like, you know, it's really encouraging for me to see you leave a like down below. It really spurs me on that. You know, I want to make more. It's really encouraging. And second of all, subscribes for daily content. Um, this is something I love. So just say it's tuned and there'll always be something coming out in the channel. Always. I and Robin are suggested because we need an improvement. I'm not sure about that. I don't really think we need an improvement, but sure. Depths and defense, I don't really think we need that either. Andreas Christensen. Interesting one to link us to. And Leung. Another interesting transfer to link us to. But nonetheless, let's move on. So we're coming up against CSKA Moscow today. Oh, we've already got our top spot in the Champions League locked up. So, you know, this game isn't really make life or death. So I'm going to use it as an opportunity to really give some youngsters a go. And there's a few players I'm thinking about bringing in to play. So straight away, I'm looking at my under 18s and Ryan Davis, he's, he's gonna get a call up to the senior squad. Another player who's getting a call up straight away is Martin Briggs. So up become Martin. So those are the only two that are getting call ups from the lower teams. Everyone else are just kind of getting where they belong really. So Martin, uh, Ryan Davies, he's going to be in that. Oh, unregistered. Wait, what? He isn't registered. Oops. My bad, I forgot to register him. And he hasn't been in the club, lo at l club long enough. So, David Espina is going to be in that. <laughs> oh, good grief. But we are still going to play Martin Biggs. I'm not sure which side I'm going to play him on. I may play him as a... This is the problem with Martin Biggs. Is he's a left footer. So he struggles cutting in a lot. So development right now, I wanted I want him to develop that weaker foot. But also develop as an inside forward on the other side of the pitch. So yeah, that's that. But at the same time I look at, you know, this side of the pitch for us. And in terms of just oh, general, where's general? I'm blind, general. 
Uh, do we have a preferred foot? Here we go. Left foot with Talas. Our left footed players that are very good in the left are all defensive, except for maybe Mez except for Mesut Ozil. Oxlade Chamberlain is decent. Pulisic is decent. So could be an opportunity to play Pulisic out ride. Maybe Rashford is actually very good on this left foot as well. Looking at that, there's not really anyone I can play it there. Awobi is only reasonable, which is concerning. And Sanchez is actually weak. So that's really a big problem with our squad right now, is just the depth of that weak foot. Uh, Martin Biggs, how good are you with your weak foot? Attributes. If I can see preferred foot left, how good are you with your left foot? I want to see exactly how good you are. I'll do it through here. Whatever. Uh, Martin Biggs, very strong with his left foot. What if I replace this with general right foot? Uh, right foot, how good are you, Martin? You're weak with your right foot. See, that's the problem. It's just this heavy, heavy drop off after that where we struggle. And it's very, very obvious. And we, I just need some depth in terms of two footed players. This is when I wish that I kept Lucas and I loaned out someone else. Because Lucas can play there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play Martin Biggs as a winger. In fact, I'm actually going to go double inside forward. It's something I've been trying. I really haven't been able to figure it out. I'm going to figure it out soon though. Now, here, I, I, I want to get this instruction correct. So, I really want the front three to kind of be floating around. So, the front three, they seem very rigid right now. I want them to change positions frequently. So, I could go roam from positions, which is a, tac you know, a little tactical tweak that I like. I like that. But I only want it to apply to the front three. I want the, I want the midfield especially to say packed and locked into where they're meant to be. So, uh, if you're watching this, um, football manager, whoever runs it, uh, developers of football manager, if you're watching this, that would be a really cool option for individual instructions for players to roam from position or like have a fluid front three and a rigid midfield where they are always very, you know, in their positions, don't really leave them. That'd be really cool, and a really cool little inclusion, I think. So Martin Biggs is going to... Oh, see, but the thing is, he's best here. Stop it, he'll play as an inside forward there. We'll just have... Oh, you, you can play... Oh, I'm torn! I am absolutely torn right now. See, I put him on a winger. As attack, make this guy wing back. That's going to be Ake. On the right is going to be Bellerin. I know that. Let me flesh out the rest of my squad quickly. Uh, John Stones is suspended. I was going to go with Mustafi, and I guess Lawrence Koscielny is my only option. Unless I want to bring in Chambers. Now, I'm going to bring in Chambers. I'm not going to risk. Koscielny, who was injured earlier. And then he slides in there. Here, I want to play Pulisic in midfield. Which means that deep line playmaker is Mesut Ozil. I want to play Alexis Sanchez at striker. Which means as winger on support, I was thinking Rene Adelaide. Okay, here we go. This is what I'm going to do. Rene Adelaide is an inside forward on support. Playing as a complete wing back. I'm just going to play double double inside forwards. Because he has to develop there. And there's only one way to do it. And that's to play there. So Martin Biggs. Inside forward. Bang. 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 Uh, see. It's there. I wish. Hmm. 
Okay, cool. So this is how we are going to line up, I think, with our first. First 11. That's what I'm planning to do. So, a slightly rotated squad. I don't know why players are reacting badly. What have I said? Press speculation. What did I say? I cannot remember. Anyway. On the bench, I'm going to have Marcus Rashford. Alex Awobi. Uh... I'll have Aaron, no, not Aaron Ramsey, not Taliso. We'll have Taggart, Brad Smith, better check. Now I need midfielders. Theo Walcott and Granite Xhaka because he is versatile. Coquelin still suffering an injury, which is why he hasn't found himself in the end. So that's the lineup I'm going to go with for this game. But before we do that, I'm going to have, we're going to have a look at the stats so far this season. So we're going to look at competitions overall. So here we are. Sanchez has played 21 games, 12 goals, 5 assists, 4 players of the match. His passing percentage has gone up a lot, which is why I think he's been a lot better this year and sitting out at 7.45. You've been able to tell. Hector Bellerin, he's just been solid. Three assists. John Stones, I don't know how this has worked. But three goals, three assists from the centre back. Which puts him, what is this? One, two, three, four, top five. He's top five, John Stones. Top five in the club. Marcus Rashford netting nine. Woby netting five. Ramsey four. Then Ozil, Stones, Walcott, all on three. Walcott's got three goals in four appearances, and two of those were as a sub. He could feel a bit, a little bit hard done by, I think, Theo Walcott. But there's an opportunity he's about, and is that what he's... No, that's not what he's angry about. What did I say in the press, guys? Gee whiz, I cannot remember. I cannot remember what I said in the presser. So who hasn't scored? Xhaka down. Okay, Sandy Gazzola hasn't scored, surprisingly. It's actually quite surprising. Now, Martin Biggs, he has scored, of course. Martin Biggs. Um, history. Is it? No, reports. Oh. Let me just click on season stats. Yeah, report stats, of course. Of course, that's where it is. So, we'll get rid of all these junior rookie clubs, cups. We'll just look at... um. Where he has played. So he's played three. He started three games in the FL Cup. Scored, that's where he scored his goal. He also made a dribble. And he won two headers. So that's really where he played. He hasn't been too great. But obviously it's going to keep on giving him opportunities to shine. Because he had shown great potential. He's currently a League One type of player. And what's probably most disappointing is he hasn't improved much. If at all. So he stagnated a bit, which is concerning. But I have faith he can get on the right track. Alexis Sanchez leads us with five assists and has been by far our best player. With speculation of him leaving actually to two very big clubs circling, but he did commit his future here, verbally not in the form of a contract. As you can see, he has four player of the match awards, so he has been the best there. Pass completion rate. And then he, Talisa, Ramsey, Cazola, all above 90% or over, which is what we want to see. Tackling-wise, Talisa, Bellerin have been our best tacklers, just over three. Dribbles per game, Theo Walcott has been phenomenal. But Bellerin and Awobi have been exceptional as well. And for players that play most of the game, they've been very, very good, which is very pleasing. Shots on target ratio, Theo Walcott once again up there. John Stones at 70%. That's obviously above 60% is where you should be. And Rashford and Wobi are up there. Yellow cards. Ake have, Ake's racked them up. Hmm. Not sure how we can combat that. He is wanted by Bayern Munich. Now if Bayern come with the correct value for him. And you know a good offer. that I, I'd be willing to let Ake walk. I think I definitely overpaid for him in the beginning. 40 million. I definitely overpaid $40 million for Nathan Ake. He had a lot better potential, I thought, when I signed him. 
I thought he was going to be, you know, a potential world-class player. But he never really lived up to that. And if the right offer comes around 50 million thereabouts, I would be willing to let him go. And I'd look into signing someone else. So there you go. You heard it here first. Now, Bellerin 5, that's what you'd expect. The most concerning one, I think, is Pulisic, who has four. From midfield, that isn't good enough. Red card-wise, John Stones has two. And for only one yellow card, it shows a lack of discipline. Jaka and Taliso both have one. And I remember Taliso's especially. It was horrendous. Now, average ratings, Mustafi, John Stones, Hector Bellerin, Koscielny, Chambers... Our defence has been very good. Sanchez has also been very good, but the problem with Sanchez is he's either very, very good or he's very, very poor, which is disappointing. So we'll look at Sanchez here. We'll look at his stats. And really, this is what says it. Um, can I look at... Will it be on the history? I want to look at his past games. Form. That's where it will be. So looking at this for form for Alexis Sanchez, 6.4, 6.9. No, 6.8, you know... 6.6, 7.4, 7.1, 9. Now and then it's back down to a 6.9, 9. So he, he can't really just get 8, you know, consistently over and over again. With Alexi Sanchez, we'll look at it this way and look at this. High end, very, very good. Very high end scores. He's seen it very good. You know, and even above 7.4. That's where I'd expect him to cons consistently be getting. Around that 7.3 to 7.5 mark. That's where I want him just to be able to pump them out consistently with occasional big games. But the fact of the matter is, he's had very multiple low games. Where just Sanchez hasn't been good enough. He just hasn't. He's turned... And what's been the biggest killer for him... His pass completion rate has not been good at all. So we look at this. Passes. Completed. Passes. Attempted. So we'll see here. Good games. Look. Very, very high ratios. Then in his bad games. You know. Some of them are very good still. But they're just. They're not as good. And really what hurts him there is. If I can look at key, key chances. Which are, ooh, key chances. Is this it? Key headers. If you can see it, basically, he squanders chances. And that's when he's at his lowest. He either finishes or he, or he just misses completely. And that's very disappointing. So now I want, I want to look at a few of our players out on loan. Reese Nelson having a pretty poor season right now for... Swansea, who's loaned out. So he's getting Premier League experience and playing a decent amount of games. Hasn't played well, but, you know, the consistent basis of playing has improved him. And he is now very well suited to Premier League football. So I'm expecting next year, he's going to come back and he's going to play. He's probably going to replace Theo Walcott. Oxlane Chamberlain is looking likely to leave the squad. And that's encouraging. Other players are worth to look at. Uh, Escobar, you know, a player that we still need to get a work permit for. He's improved. He's been good. He's been getting good league on experience. But just hasn't been able to get that work permit. And he's now good enough to play Premier League football. But he just hasn't got that work permit, which is very frustrating. Oh, Vlad Dregma. Another player that he's impressed. And he is... I think he's basically there as a Premier League player. So I think another year out alone at a Premier League club next year will serve just do dividends to the lad. So that's something I'm looking into. Um, Mavidi. He's at League One Club Portsmouth right now. He's too good for them. I'll be honest. But coming to a club where he can consistently perform at a high level has been good for him. But next year, definitely, possibly even Premier League. Dodo, another player that we need to get a work permit for. He's a decent league gun. Um, 
he's shown he's Premier League ready, I think. And he just hasn't been able to get that chance. Ah, uh, Bielik, another player who I rate, but a player but likely to sell on. Looking at other players we've loaned out, um, Lucas. He's having a decent season. Definitely a player that we're going to sell at the end of the year, though. Just doesn't find himself in the rotation. And there's one other, Rob Holding. Interesting player, Rob Holding. Um, he's a good player, very solid player, and he's having a phenomenal year. And I, I love to transfer him out. I want to get a good fee for him. So we'll be looking into that. But now... It is time to get into this game. You've all been waiting for it. You've listened to me blubber on for 20 minutes. But here we are. Champions League game against CSKA Moscow. Um, bad weather apparently. And I think 99% of footballers aren't remotely bothered by the weather. Now he's a natural choice. Shokodan Mustafi. Captain material. And he's been taking it a lot. When Per Manasaka leaves the club at the end of the year. Because as you know he is out of contract. And definitely one I'm not going to renew. Um, I think I'm going to promote, promote Koscielny to captain. Mustafi is going to come in as vice. That's my plan. And even then, Koscielny, he's teetering on the edge of the club right now. Uh, really, he could drop out any second. But I want to, I want to see him out, really, of his contract for one. But if he has shown to be good enough, I'll keep him around. And that's the same with Kuzola. Kuzola. A player that, you know, he's probably about to drop out of the starting 11. But I'm going to keep around for one, good depth. Two, experience is needed in the squad. I think Stones has actually already passed Koscielny in my side. Especially in terms of how they play. Oh, I like how Stones can play on the ball. He can get forward and he can create a little bit. Especially in the box when we have a corner and he can pick out a good pass. Picking passes, Pulisic should have passed them. But he's lost the ball here. And Moscow are on the counter. Milanov. But Bellerin just shuts down Milanov there. Now Bigsy, what can you do? Ozil passes it forward to Alexis Sanchez. Who is in behind? Sanchez, please score. He does. Which means it's going to be a good game for Alexis Sanchez. He's got a goal and statistically speaking, Alexis Sanchez, when he scores, he is very, very good. And very, very lethal. And it's, it's good to see Alexis Sanchez getting on the score sheet there. Now, how long is this highlight going to take? Right now, I've also got the, the TV on next to me, and it's Arsenal versus Sydney FC. As you know, I am Australian, so it's always good to see Australian competition playing against the best. But gee whiz, I tell you what, Reese Nelson in that game right now is just a beast. It's an absolute beast. Like, he's been amazing. Sensational. And also, Permanasaka Manasa, per in the Sydney game, he scored a scissor kick. So, if you didn't watch Sydney FC versus Arsenal right now, Permanasaka scored a scissor kick. But, Alexi Sanchez there in the FM save, he just scores a brilliant goal. Top bins off the free kick, and it's one of those games for Alexis Sanchez where he is going to be sensational. Now, what can we do here? Pulisic gets on the scoreboard, and it looks like it is going to be an absolute annihilation so far. We have been lethal. Absolutely lethal. So, it's good to see Pulisic getting on the scoreboard. As you know, he is playing in midfield for me and I really think that's where he is going to stay I don't see him coming out of that position and if we quickly just duck over to team report squad depth 
and we look at Pulisic in midfield. Now his potential ability is four stars. I reckon he could be better than that, though. I reckon he could get better than that, and I really hope he does, because we paid a lot of money for him, didn't we? An awful lot of money. Martin Brig Biggs is starting to get a bit tired, so I think I'm actually going to take him off at the break here. Which means that goes back to being a winger. Uh, Hector Bellerin goes back to being a wing back. And Big Z, you're going to come off for. Uh, actually, P Pulisic, come on in. Is it inside forward? There we go. Which means Biggs. Uh, first switch with Ozil, and then. I kind of want to play Theo Wilcott in there. Yeah, Theo Wilcott. Yep, in he comes here, Wilcott. Advanced playmaker. Sounds good. Sounds very good indeed. Theo Wilcott in midfield as a playmaker. Um, it, It's an experiment. Yeah, we'll put it that. So Theo Wilcott, a player that, really, he's not going to find himself on the team very much longer unless he finds himself as a versatile player. Same with Oxlade Chamberlain. Uh, he's another player that unless he finds himself in a position where he can prove how versatile he is and can play as, you know, left wing, right wing, striker, left wing back, right wing back, you know, centre midfielder, they're not going to stay in the team for very long. But now, Alexi Sanchez, what can you do for me, Alexi? <laughs> Moscow have just parked the bus, haven't they? Look at that formation. I mean, look at it. Four, two, three, one. And it isn't a 4-2-3-1 with a cam, a left mid, and a right mid. It's the 4-2-3-1 with a center mid, a deep, like a defensive left mid, and a defensive right mid. They have parked the bus sensationally. Like, look at it. Look at this. <laughs> if, if we break this down, I'll be impressed. Theo Wolcott, Pulisic, and Sanchez was brilliant there. Pulisic gets the score. And that is, that is very pleasing to see. Pulisic getting on the scorecard there. And it's 4-0. And it's getting to a point where it's quite embarrassing for Moscow. And look at... Oh, Alexi Sanchez. That is sensational. And what a finish by Pulisic as well. The American Pulisic there. As you know, we brought him in for a hefty fee. A very hefty fee of 57 million quid. And, you know, a few of you may be like, wait, what? What are you doing? 57 million quid for Pulisic? His, con his jersey sales have already made us 30 million pounds. So, that's part of it. Second part of it is he can play as an inside forward. He's not great at the wing position, but also he can play as a midfielder, where he is very, very good. And he's been developing very nicely as well. You know, with good potential, I think it's a good pickup. And even then, if he doesn't work out, if he doesn't develop as nicely as he could, I reckon we could sell him for 50 million back. So I don't think it's all that bad. Wolcott. Wolcott. Almost. Rene Adelaide could have been in behind if Wolcott played it. But, hey. You win some, you lose some. And really, uh, Pulisic and Sanchez have been doing most of the work, haven't they? Uh, I don't think I'm going to make another change. I lied. Gonna watch what happens here. Mesut Ozil. Pulisic. Hat trick Pulisic. No. I can thief. Saves it. What, what the change that is going to happen is Brad Smith is going to come in here for. Yep, we'll go with that, okay? Uh, let's, just, let's just give Brad Smith a bit of game time, yeah? Like, Australian. Give him, just, just give him some game time, lads. You know? A player I rate in real life, but uh, didn't work out this FM save. Probably one of my worst transfers this FM save. He's really been a bit player, hasn't done much. Five million quid we paid for him. He hasn't started a game. So yeah, uh, best decision I think by me. I'm going to keep on playing him though, give him a chance. I think giving him some Premier League games will help him. Because, really, I want to see him become a Premier League standard player. I want to see him be there. And he's a player I want to develop. 
And we've almost conceded there. Ospina managed to get that save though. I'd love to make it five. I really would. But Stuffy, what can you do for me? Nothing apparently. But here we are. 90th minute at a time. This may well be it. Sanchez plays it to Pulisic. Elneny. Ozil. Ozil. Takes a long shot. Saved. And that's going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. A 30 minute episode for you to make up for the short episode last night. But it's a 4 0 win to Arsenal. And that's it. That wraps up the group stage. And we have been perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, it is me, Jaru Jam. Hashtag jam in down below in the comments after that performance. Perfect Champions League group stage. Didn't draw, didn't lose. We won every single game. And what a result that is, ladies and gentlemen. What a result. I uh, That was just brilliant. Brilliant. And there you have it. That was the group stage. Are we the only team that recorded 18 points? Yes, we are. Only team that finished perfect in the group stage. There you go. Arsenal, 6 and 0 oh, and 0. Oh. It's been me, Jaro Jam. Jam in down below. Like, subscribe if you enjoyed. And I will see you all next time. Have a great day. Peace.